Contract negotiation is a very, very sensitive and complex matter. You know, after many, many years of being involved in negotiations and negotiation strategy, being formally trained in contract negotiation, you know, I've seen a lot of things go wrong and right during this process. But my number one rule is you do not negotiate an employment package via email. The key point there was negotiate. You do not negotiate via emails going back and forth. And I see this all the time. People are sending emails out, I want this, I want that, or I'm not happy with this and that. And every time you go back and forth with email during a contract negotiation for employment, you're pushing the offer off the table. You're sending an email out into the ether. You don't know what the reaction is going to be. You don't have any opportunity to eyeball the person, see what the reaction is, and your words are set in stone. So the language you use in that email is set. And as we all know, people can interpret emails, tone, inflection, words, language in so many different ways. You have no idea how that email is going to land. And the chances of getting a successful outcome become very, very low. I had a very senior board director candidate the other day, and he's going back and forth with a potential employer about a board seat. And he's saying all these different things in email. And I said, hang on a tick. Why aren't you talking to these people? Why aren't you on the telephone? Why aren't you having another meeting to discuss these terms of this contract that you're proposing? You know, sending a contract out, sending an offer out without uh, talking it through with the parties, the email should really just be the final confirmation of the agreement that's been reached. So wherever possible, please, 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 get off the email. You do not negotiate employment contracts via email. You must do it verbally. You must talk to the parties. You must reach consensus. This way you've got room to move. You've got a, an opportunity to read the response. Is there room to move on this this part of the salary package? Could a bonus be added? Could it be increased? You get this opportunity to go back and forth and you can use different language, different tone, you can read the audience and you can counter. And without that, you know, that opportunity to massage an opportunity into the right terms, this is where things can go very, very wrong. So um, take my strong advice, stay off the email, get a better result, negotiate via in person or verbally on the telephone.